going on YouTube? So today we're going to see if HP tuners will at least monitor the Chevrolet Bolt. There are a few apps out there that work like Torque Pro if you use a spreadsheet off of uh, the Volt forms has a few PIDs that you can monitor with Torque Pro but the Chevrolet Bolt isn't even on anything to even look at right now. On top of HP Tuners says that it's not a supported vehicle, but the Chevrolet Bolt is. So we're going to hook up to the LBD2 port and see if I can at least hook up and monitor something. The LBD2 port's right above the hood release on the driver's side. It just slides right on in. Let's go ahead and turn the car on. Open up the laptop. All right, we're going to open up VM scanner. Try to connect to vehicle. Yeah, it connected. Let's just see if it'll pull any DTCs. Components complete. Obviously there's no catalyst or any of that. No DTCs. Check free frames. Cool. I wonder what is supported. I'm just gonna go ahead and add what I think would be worth looking at. As you can see, the control module is identifying itself as 0x7. And it's not actually supported. Systems. What systems can we look at? Batteries and charging. Hybrid battery ratio. Let's see what that does. Accelerator pedal. Alright. Yeah, I've got several that don't have anything to do with this because it was loaded for the Sky originally. But let's see what this says. Fuel type electric. And I press the pedal. Obviously it's in park. All the control module voltages are normal. Hybrid batteries at 84.3, which since I have Hilltop Reserve off, that's going to end up getting to 100%. But as you can see, there's really not much that you could do with HP tuners other than look at your DTCs, if you have DTCs. So, I just figured it'd be interesting to plug it in and see what's up. See what you can see. So, uh, that's going to do it for today's video. I know it's really short. I kind of figured it would be because I have another video to shoot with the S10. Hopefully you all enjoyed this video and seeing if the HP tuners will work with the Chevrolet Bolt. And if you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if this is your first time. And I'll catch you all next time.